My name is Kerry Judd. I am the centre manager here at Scout Adventures Down. I have worked here for about five years. Here, the centre is set up for working with young people. We've had a long history of working with other scouts, working with uh, school groups, youth groups, scout groups, guide groups. We have a lot of experience of working and developing young people, both with small groups and giving young people the opportunity to be themselves, to play, to learn, and basically act like children. The part of the job of working here is definitely knowing that you are having a huge impact on a young person's uh, development. Potentially, they will have memories of their residential experiences for the rest of their life. I will speak to young people who I meet again in 10, 15 years time and they remember specifically the time they spent doing camping or, or being on residential experience and they will know the name of the instructors. I think that's really important. I think residentials uh, bring a huge benefit to schools because it's not a structured learning environment. I think the benefits that residentials have with young people in the schools when they come here is it gives them the opportunity to learn outside of the formal school environment. So they're able to learn using different skills and the opportunity to learn by doing and learning by their experiences. And also they have the opportunity to build relationships and see people outside of that school and that very structured environment. So the ability and, and practice building relationships with young people, their friends and peers, but also with their interaction with the other adults in the group and with the instructors as well. Scout Adventures Down is quite a special place. It's about 85 acres of mostly woodland with about 20 acres of, of, of grassland. As a centre itself, uh, we have three accommodation blocks which are comfortable. Um, and we also have camping with tented villages, which so you can camp, have a camping experience without having to bring on your own kit. Uh, we can provide catering, um, or you can do back to basics in a hammock in the middle of the woods, string a hammock between two trees. I'm Kate, I'm Deputy Head of Ray Primary School. We read book because of its proximity to school, so it's less than an hour away, but it's completely different. We're in South London, so once we're here, it's a completely different environment. The activities are really fun that the children enjoy. They feel that they've got a really big sense of independence because they can run around in the fields and the woods without too much adult contact, which is a rare experience for them. The staff are very good, very effective. Uh, most of them are quite young, so they relate well to the children. There's a wide range of nationalities which reflects on our own school environment, so the children enjoy that as well. At Ray we really promote outdoor learning. We have a garden and we have an outdoor learning teacher. So it's quite embedded in our curriculum as it is, but coming away for three days gives them that much more experience of it. And when children are outdoors, it's very good for children who don't have English as a first language, very good for children with special educational needs. You can find that confidence really, really excels. For a lot of the children, it's the first time that they've been away from home for an evening or two. Some of them haven't even been to sleepovers before. It's also very good for parents. Some of our parents are very overly attached to their children, so it's good for them to realise actually your children can be free from you and be safe and have a good time. And it promotes new friendships with the children, people that they wouldn't necessarily go to in the class. When they see them outside with a different set of skills that are really, really beneficial to them, they suddenly forge those lifelong friendships. And the independence and the confidence from being away from your home, you can't beat really. <laughs> they go home with a new, a new awareness of the world. My name is Mika. I'm nine years old and I'm from Ray Primary School. I'm looking forward to doing archery, as I heard, um, zip lining also. My parents have always been caring for me and um, they've always looked after me. I've never had an experience to be away from my parents or any of my siblings or family. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I think it's a lovely place. I can see a lot of deers too and animals and yeah, there's a lot of green area here. It's really a nice experience. My name is Lucian. I've only done two activities, the Leap of Faith and Shelter Building, and they're both really good. So we started off when we were making the, getting the big sticks. Sometimes we found a suitable log and it needed three people to carry and Though we worked together to lift it into place. The leap of faith was a bit 
scary when it started wobbling on the top, but I knew that I had a rope, so I wasn't very scared. Hi, my name is Samaya. I'm nine years old and I come from Ray Primary School. Today I enjoyed the activities. I like the den building thing. There was two teams split together. There was team one and team two. I was on team one and we basically had like materials and we had to find log sticks and logs to put together into like a triangle shape. I've never stayed away from home before. It's opportunity for me to learn how to stay like so like when I'm older, I have experience when I want to go out uh, by myself and live by myself. Yeah, I would come back again.